interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and beyond. describes the differences between killer whale size, <laughs> physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. Now that's really... <laughs> when viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. When viewed from below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Floating. Which helps stabilize workers as they swim and can help regulate body temperature. 
Now, dorsal fins have no bones or muscles inside of them, which is sometimes why you see them occur. This is unlike the pectoral flippers on either side of the body, which are used mainly for uh -oh. steering and stopping. They're going to splash us over here. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pond. and calls for group coordination and hunting. This is something I fell off. We're making fun. Vocal development studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalizations from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Together to rear their young, protect their home, and most importantly, 
the Sioux can catch the prey. <laughs> Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The cows then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator.
Americas love to be touched and will rub their bellies on rocks when they can. We see our whales do this here, much like the whales in British Columbia. Someone in my front. <laughs> the whales here at SeaWorld have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One ongoing study monitors the whales' heart rate.